All right, guys, this is part two. And after this video, I'm going to walk to the store and get another pack of smokes. Um, get another pack of smokes, and um, I will enjoy the video hours before you guys. You guys will enjoy this video uh, later on. I have not love when we talk about the majors. Yeah. Yeah, it's, 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 I love when we talk about the majors. Yeah. The majors will be so good, it'll rival Zanus, man. That's all good. Like, the greatest kick will be good, but I don't think it'll rival Zanus. Where something like the Matrix, me, me the one kicking ass, the Matrix will rival Zanus, man. Because you're, you're going to see me as the one kicking ass, man. Yeah, man. You know how Neil, Keanu Reeves kicked ass in the Matrix? Yeah. He kicked ass in the Matrix. Yeah, Keanu Reeves kicked ass in the fucking Matrix. Yeah, man. Here's the thing, though. If I make the Matrix trilogy, obviously, Keanu Reeves will no longer be, will no longer be the star. You see what I'm saying, He'll be a bit pissed off, obviously, but he won't really care. Well, I mean, even though I'm a bit pissed off, I'm not, I'm not going to be the star. Make that Zane, make that make sure. I want to see you. I want, I want to see you carry on my legacy and kick ass, kick ass as the one. Yeah, man, that's been top notch. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so my deal is two point two million dollars for the rights to make the Matrix sequels, sequel movies, and the Matrix sequel games, and the merch for the for the Matrix, obviously. But for my merch, I'm only going to sell shades, mugs, posters, and I might perhaps sell maybe t-shirts, Matrix t-shirts maybe, and that's it for the merch. I'm not going to sell clothing. I'm not going to sell... It's just, it's just, it's, I, I could sell toys and clothing. I, I could sell toys and like customized clothing and all stuff, but it's going to cost Amazon a lot of money to do that. But Amazon will make their money back, obviously. Amazon will tell me, yeah, I mean, if you want to make us to make toys, it's going to cost them. That's pricey. That's going to cost us a lot of money. That's why I stay away from toys, because toys are very pricey, man. Hot toys are like 100, 200, 300, 400. They're expensive. That's why I stay away from toys. Most average people can't afford that, or it's a big condo budget. Whereas posters and mugs, that stuff's affordable. You can get six posters for a good $150, $100, frame ones or, or paper ones, and it comes with the mugs. You can get sh like four, five, six shades for a good like 80 bucks. That's cheap. Whereas the moment you pay like 200, 300, 400 bucks for toys, that's pricey, man. That's pricey for, for an average person. Unless you're, uh, unless you're rich. But for an average person, that's pricey, obviously. That's why John, John Campion mentioned this in his video. Yeah, he said hot, toys are very expensive. Yeah, toys are very expensive. you got to be careful. They're pricey, man. That's why I'm staying away from toys. I don't need toys. Yeah. You get that news? Sky Source purchased the rights off the Matrix and the whole world's going crazy. Oh my god, Ivan's gonna make that Matrix trilogy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know what I'm saying. I guarantee Peter Jackson, you know what I'm saying? And all those things actors are gonna ask you, Ivan, what do you do in that? What movie are you doing next? I'm like, uh, guys, you wanna know? I'm, 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 I'm. Like, yeah, we wanna know. Yeah, yeah, I'm currently in talks with Warner Bros. to purchase the rights off the Matrix. The Matrix? Like the whole thing, Ivan? No, 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 no. The, the, the rights to make the sequels. And, and, and the game is based off the sequels and the merch based off the, based off the sequels. Oh, so you want to purchase the rights to make the sequels, Ivan? I'm like, yeah. Well, Ivan, how's that going to work? They made Resurrections. Like, like Trinity and, and Neo are the one. I'm like, no, no, no. Warner Bros. has to erase Resurrections, erase the map. Oh, you wanted to erase, Ivan? Yeah, I wanted to erase. It's no longer a part of canon. Holy shit, Ivan, you're a good negotiator. Yeah, I put them in a pickle, man. If you don't want to, if you don't want to erase the Resurrections, I'll just make the Great Escape. I have nothing to lose, man. And you don't, you don't get your $2.2 million. And you won't see that story told. You won't see those amazing Unreal Engine 5 games made. Yeah. I have nothing to lose. I'm a genius. I put everyone in a pickle, man, because I'm a fucking genius, obviously. I put Amazon in a pickle. I put Warner Bros. in a pickle. Yeah, if you don't want to erase Resurrections, so then you're right. I am not touching your Matrix franchise if you don't delete that garbage. And what? And I'll just make the, the Great Escape if you don't delete the garbage of the movie. Don't hate me, Warner Bros. I know you have feelings. I'm saying, oh, I, Resurrections was not that bad. No, man, it was terrible. There's a reason why it flopped. It was a terrible movie. I want it gone. I want it deleted from the face of the map. It's not a good movie, man. Yeah. Ivan, what causes you to ask me, Ivan, are you going to write Are you gonna write the script? No, guys, I'm not going to write it. You guys have to write it. If you need help, tell me who is the best screenwriter who can help you out with this major script. You know, I can hire one assistant screenwriter to help you out. And my two source fellows will be helping you out too. I'll be in the room with you guys, going over my notes, giving you my ideas for the story, but you guys have to write the script. You know, Ivan, you, you have to be in the room with us. Yeah, I'll be in the room with you. I'll give you all me and Vito will give you all our ideas we have for the Matrix 4 story. How you want it to end, the middle, the beginning, 
But you guys have to write it. That's what I'm saying. I am not writing another script after the I am retiring as a writer. As writing a script is a fucking butts one, dude. It's a lot of work. And as a boss, as a boss, I just, I personally just want to produce and just act. I don't feel like directing. I don't feel like writing a fucking long script. Rosaeus, I'll put in the work and write the script. It's my baby. I wrote the story. But for The Matrix, I'm not writing it. The Grey Escape, I'm not writing it. They're Unique, I'm not writing it. The Matrix 5, Matrix 6, I'm not writing it. So I'm going to hire the, a, a, a team to write it for me. But I'll have, I'll have them look, look over my notes and give them ideas to help them out, obviously. And I'll be in the room with them to show them I'm serious, obviously. But I'm not writing the script. You're writing it. I'm just an executive producer of VJ and I'll, and, I'll, and I'll act in the movie. You're writing the script. And you got you guys will be my co-directors and you'll be my you'll be you'll be the co-writers of the movie. You guys will be the main writers, and I'll hire maybe one screenwriter to help you out. My two screenwriters will help you out. So you'll have five co-writers for the Matrix form where you'll, you'll get an amazing movie. Because I paid the customers a lot of money, they'll work hard. Pay them a nice sixteen million dollar salary, a four, four point five million dollar bonus. And give them a nice fifty million dollars of profit, fifty five million dollars of profits. The majors for the work hard. You know they're gonna strike it rich. Zero percent, one percent of the merch, and a one point five of close bonus. They'll work hard. Pay them a nice four five hundred bonus. That's a lot of money. The millions are back. They work hard. They're, 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 they write some. They write an amazing majors for script. Yeah, man. They write this amazing majors for script. Yeah, man. Obviously. Before I shut this camera up here, I'm only going to make a quick, like, 45-minute video, guys. I'm going to shut the camera up here. I'm tired. I don't feel like going on for an hour. Yeah, so that scene, whenever the cops arrest me, obviously, this is how I first meet Agent Smith. So I get caught hacking at school, obviously. The seventh principal's office. The, 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 the principal tells me that I'm expelled from school. And you know I'm saying that the cops are on the way to pick me up, obviously. Okay, do you have the kid? Yeah, we have the kid. I have the kid. He's, he's in my office. Okay, we're, we're going to come and get him. The cops come into the school and they arrest me. Everyone at the school is all staring. I'm saying, holy shit, what happened? Yeah, he got caught. Apparently, he got caught with hacking. Holy shit. I feel bad for him. I told him it was a bad idea. You know what I'm saying? Then I go into the cop car. Now, I'm in the cop car, obviously. I'm silent. I have the cuffs in my hands. The cops are talking, obviously. The two cops are talking, obviously. And I notice that the cop passes the police station. I'm like, okay, what the fuck is going on here? And I'm saying, this is this is a little fishy. And I'm saying, I'm like, uh, guys, hello, uh, the police station's over here. We just right, the, the, the police station's over there. We just passed it, and the cops ignore me. And I'm saying, I'm like, hello, you guys hear me? Where are you taking me? We, we just passed the police station. You know, I'm saying, and the cops like, shut up, kid. We don't talk to hackers. <laughs> Holy shit, you're crazy. Yeah, you. That's exactly what a cop in the matrix would say. They would say something like that. And I'm saying, shut up, kid. We don't talk to hackers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because the cops don't like hackers, obviously. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm like hello. Where, I'm like, where are you taking me, man? We just passed the police station. Like, I'm like, I, I, like where's my lawyer? I have rights, too, you know? And I'm like, You're supposed to be taking the police station. And the cops are silent. I'm like, guys, where are you taking me? And the cops are like, you don't know, do you, kid? I'm like, what? We're taking you to him. I'm like, who? It's Agent Smith. I'm like, Agent Smith? Who the fuck is Agent Smith? <laughs> That's for looking at an amazing story, yeah, man. Agent Smith? Who the fuck is Agent Smith, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Now, and then the cops tell me, like, yeah, the hackers don't go to us. They go to him. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, what? I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like shouldn't I be at the police station? He's like, how many times I gotta tell you we don't talk to hackers? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And they take me to the to the Agent Smith's base, obviously. And they, my idea is they, the, the very place where Keanu Reeves got interrogated in Matrix 1, I go I, I go into that exact, the exact same room. It's all white. But this time, there's no cameras in that room. And the agents interrogate me. Who are you working with? How long have you been hacking? And I, I, tell them, I tell them to fuck off, obviously. And the agents, they threaten me. And I'm, 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 I'm not telling you shit. I'm saying, I, wa I want my lawyer. I want my phone call. And Agent Smith lets me go. He's like, if I ever ca catch you hacking my city again, now get out of here. You know what I'm saying? I, and I leave, the, I leave the place, you know what I'm saying? And the agents all look at me like the brave this kid was. We threatened him, and yet he showed no fear. You know what I'm saying? And Agent Smith looks at me. He's like, there's something off about that kid. 16 years old, already a hacker. 
know what I'm saying? Actually, he's like, reminds me of him. You know what I'm saying? Thomas Anderson. You know, and, the, and, and after all the agents laugh, ha ha ha, Thomas. Like, yeah, they make fun of Thomas Anderson because Thomas Anderson, aka Neo, couldn't defeat Smith. Yeah. What a kind of amazing story. And my parents picked me up and they ended up kicking me out of the house. They kicked me out of the house, obviously. Get out of my house! I'm not allowed any illegal activity in my house. And I get out of the house, obviously. You know what I'm saying? Find yourself another school. We don't even know where you even came from. They say something like that, you know what I'm saying? The, the, the agency told us that they found you in a, in a fucking junkyard. Some man found you in a fucking junkyard. We don't even know who your parents are, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, what? You don't know who my parents are? No, we don't know where you even came from. And I was like, get out! You heard her, get out! And I'm saying, my stepfather tells me that, and I get out. I'm like, fine, I get out. I end up crashing at my friend's place. It's okay, honey, you can stay at the place, you know what I'm saying? And I end up getting a job as a dishwasher. And the guy interviews me, and I'm saying the, the, the manager interviews me at the at the, the, the restaurant. Do you have any experience at dishwashing? No, I have no experience. How old are you, kid? I'm 16 years old. Are you in school? I'm like, not anymore. Not anymore. What do you mean not anymore? Yeah, I got I got expelled. Expelled for what? I'm like, I prefer not to tell you. Okay, okay, okay. We'll keep it at that, I'm saying. So what are you good at, kid, if you're not good at dishwashing? What why'd you apply this job? What are you good at? I'm like, hacking. He laughed, he's like, ha 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 ha. Funny this kid is. I'm like, oh, I'm not kidding. I'm saying, I have that look like I'm not kidding. I'm saying, like, okay, fine, you're hired, kid. So just make sure you don't come late. We know we don't like people who come late, right? Yeah, you got that parallel. Like Keanu, Keanu Reeves came late a lot to his work too. They don't, they say if you come late again, we're gonna fire you. That's why you have some parallels with my story and Keanu Reeves' story, obviously in the Matrix. I'm a genius. I want to tell a good story. And when that guy interviews me, the guy who becomes my so-called best friend, obviously, who works at the place. He happened, he was happened to eavesdrop and he heard me say a hacking, obviously. And that's how he ends up talking about me. Yeah, I heard I heard you say you're a hacker. I'm like, yeah, I was just joking. Are you really joking? You know, it's like you, you weren't joking, were you? I'm like, no, I am a hacker. I got caught, you know what I'm saying? And he hooks me up with hacking. And I and when I when, when and, you know, I go to his apartment, he hooks me up with all the hacking stuff. He's like, Yeah, we'll keep it low-key, don't worry about it. We don't get caught. I'm like, if we get caught for this, we we, we can do like five, ten years in prison for this. I like, yeah, don't worry, about it. we don't we won't get caught. And that very guy ends up selling me out 20 years later. That's really like an amazing story. Yeah, man. I do hack with my friend, and I, I make my first, like, $2,500. Like, holy shit, this is enough to pay my rent. And I get, an, I get, an, I get an apart, a small apartment. I can pay my rent. Like, yeah, you can't, you, you can't pay your rent working as a dishwasher. You need to make some real cash. And I end up doing hacking, and I end up making a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and me and him become, like, the best hackers in the city, pretty much. In the, in, in the Matrix, obviously. So good, we end up getting caught by the cops. And, 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 and I'm saying, yeah. Obviously, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Obviously. <laughs> and then once I am, so the, my best, my so-called best friend is 17 years old. He's like, yeah, I finished high school. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah, I dropped out of high school. You dropped out of high school? Yeah, I dropped out of high school. I got caught with hacking. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the eight, I got interrogated by the eight. You got interrogated by the agents? Yeah, I heard they came back a couple, like, like, like 16 years. I heard they came into the Matrix. They appeared, into the ma they appeared in the city like 16 years ago. You got caught by the agents? You must have been scared. I'm like, yeah, a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And once I do hacking with him, when I make my first like, $2,500, we, we celebrate with him. We get like beer. You know, say so I'm like, hey, you want to you you want to get some beer? I'm like, we can't. We're we're underage. No, no, I know a guy who can get beer for us. And he he calls some guy, and the guy gets beer for us. We sell. I sell. We celebrate in his apartment. We're gonna be we're gonna be the best hackers in the city. You know, saying cheers, cheers. And once that's over with, it transfers twenty years later. Holy shit, you're creative. That's very creative. Now I'm thirty six years old. I've been working in that same restaurant for twenty years now, and I'm a, I'm a dishwasher. I'm still I'm still a dishwasher. And my best friend is uh my so called best friend is a line cook. In the restaurant. And that and that's when you see the older Michael E. Jordan, the older VJ, and the Michael E. Jordan VJ go to see the Oracle. And the Oracle tells the frightening news that Agent Smith has returned, the one has been born in the Matrix. Michael E. Jordan will find you find the one and VJ will love the new one. And Michael E. Jordan's all flushed. How the you know who he is, you won't even tell me who he is. Yeah, the answer is for you that the answer you have to search for yourself, obviously. Go clubbing, take a break, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's how Mike B. Jordan ends up finding out. He goes clubbing and he find I, I he hears me talk to my friend and he's like, I think I found the one. And that's when the, the, the story really kicks in, obviously. 
And Mike B. Jordan, he stalks my friend. He goes into the base. He, he has like a five-minute window before the agents and cops arrive. And he leaves the area. Yeah. He finds out my informa information where I live. Um, where I work. Yeah. Obviously. And he, he, he ends up stalking, telling my friend, obviously. He puts a listening device on my friend, obviously. And then my, my, my so-called best friend, he, 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 he goes to his apartment, obviously. He goes to his apartment, obviously, obviously, and then he, he he's, in, he's in his apartment. You know what I'm saying? And then he has a customer that goes to his door, and he gives him the hacking stuff. The guy gives him the money. He's like, hey, if you get caught with this, you know what I'm saying? And it never came from me, obviously. And like his customer ends up going out. And my idea is whenever the whenever the customer that who bought the, ha the, the hacking stuff off my best friend, my so-called best friend, obviously, when he's outside in the matrix, someone is running from the cops, and the guy bumps into him, and then like his hacking stuff falls out of his, out of his jacket. You know, the holy shark cave. Yes, the cops see that. Like, what the heck? You know what I'm saying? Uh, I mean, is that is that what I think? Is that hacking? Um, the guy's like, oh shit! The guy runs away. The cops chase him. And he gets caught, and he ends up selling out my best friend. Who are you working with? And if you don't tell us who you work with, we're, 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 we're gonna take you to the age. Okay, fine, fine, fine. And he snitches out on my so-called best friend, obviously. And that's when the cops end up what? The cops end up going to to, 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 to they raid his place and they end up arresting him. They take him to the base, obviously. And my best friend is so strong at first, he, do, he doesn't tell the cops shit. He's like, okay, fine. If you're not going to tell us anything, we'll take you to the agents. And they take my so-called best, so best friend to the agents, obviously. And he ends up selling me out. And that's when Mike B. Jordan are listening in, obviously. And then Mike B. Jordan's like, holy shit, he just sold him out, man. we got to get a hold of, 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 of this guy before they get a hold of him. If they find out who this man is, they're going to kill him. And that's when the next day I, work, I, get, I go to work, I get that call from Mike B. Jordan. They're after you. I see my friend stepping out of the car with the agents. I'm like, holy shit. Yes, yes, he sold you out. Like, what do they want from me? Yeah, if you don't want to find out, let's just get out of there. And he, he guides me. Look at an amazing story. Yeah, man. And that's my idea for, 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 for The Matrix uh, 4. Obviously. I have the whole ma I have the whole movie planned out pretty much for, for The Matrix 4. Matrix 5, I don't have much, much ideas for that. I have a few ideas. I have a few ideas for Matrix 6, but I have all, like, Matrix 4 planned out. And because VJ's creative, she'll be, she'll, she'll be able to help me out a lot. John Favre will be able to help me out a lot with my story. We studied the three scripts. And we okay, okay, let's do whatever we can to honor. Before I shut the camera up here, let's do whatever we can to honor the Wachowski sisters' three movie stories. Let's not dishonor their story like J.J. Ames and Ryan Johnson did for George Lucas' sequels. For the Star Wars sequels. I'm saying. As Disney obviously did not care about honoring George Lucas' legacy, whereas I actually care about honoring the Wachowski, the Wachowski sisters' legacy. Okay, guys, in The Matrix, Morpheus says the one was born inside. But when you watch the movie, Neo wakes up in the real world in the, in the full adult human form. So how was he, what, what did Morpheus mean when he said the one was born in The Matrix? What did he mean by that? The only thing I can think of, his body, his biological body forms in the real world. And the moment the machines plug the plug in the back of the baby, you get this machine birth in The Matrix. Electricity, the green cold, the, 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 the light... And the body of the baby forms. That's how the one is born in the Matrix. See what I'm saying? In the what? In the Matrix, the, 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 in the Matrix, of the Matrix movies, the, the agents call Neo the anomaly. Why? Because Neo has the one code, the one, the one source code. He has the anomaly code. They call him the anomaly. So my idea is when Smith comes back, Smith, Smith is like, I am back. And the first thing Smith says is, are, are they any anomalies? And the agent says... The agents read, but they don't, they, 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 for some reason they can't read. The reason why the agents can't read that I'm born in the Matrix is because I'm, I, I am not born in the Matrix yet. As the agents, the, 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 there is no, there is no, they don't sense any anomalies. Any anomalies? No anomalies. The last anomaly known was Thomas Anderson. Deceased, also known as Neil. Deceased, 70 years ago. And Smith like laughs, he mocks like Keanu Reeves, ha ha ha. Even Neil couldn't defeat me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you, they mock you on a reason. Yeah, I'm, uh, all right, that, uh, that's, that's, that's just, yeah. Do whatever you can to be consistent with, 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 with the your story. When Smith comes back, you get the deja vu. Things change in people's houses and all that stuff. You got a change in the matrix, obviously. That's the deja vu. Yeah. Do whatever you can to be consistent to the Wachowski sister's story. Don't dishonor it like Disney did for George Lucas, for George Lucas uh, Star Wars movies. That's what I'm saying? As, as, as Disney did George a disservice, they dishonored the man's fucking legacy. They cre they made Luke into a into, into into what into a hermit, who gives up who tried to kill his own nephew and what, and Rise of Skywalker was a bloated mess. They brought back Palpatine when when Anakin and Rey destroyed Palpatine. Yes, 
Do whatever you can to honor the Wakasi story. Don't just honor the story. Don't hate me, Disney. Like Disney did to George Lucas' beloved Star Wars franchise. You know what I'm saying? And that's my idea for the Matrix franchise. That's why Warner Bros. will guarantee be like, yeah, Ivan, we're more than happy to sell you the rights. Tell this amazing fucking story. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And after we sign this, this, after we sign this nice contract, I'll take all you guys out to a nice dinner. It's on me. Yeah, you guys are already rich. You can easily afford it, but I'll pay for it out of my own pocket. I'll take all you guys out to a nice dinner, and I'll even party up with all the Warner Bros. executives. Have a good time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Anyways, I am tired, guys. I made a good, I don't know, 53-minute video. I'm going to shut this camera off here. I'm going to go to the store get a pack of smokes. I'm going to enjoy the video with you guys. So I have mayor. I'm signing out. Enjoy the video before you guys, and you guys will enjoy this video uh, hours from now. So I have mayor. I'm signing out. Peace.